Hi, my name is Chris Kovach, and I'm the Regional Sales Consultant for Toby Dynavox in Northeastern Florida. Today I'm going to answer a question that was posed to me from a customer about how to hide a tab within a topic and how to add new tabs or delete a tab. So as you can see, I'm on the core first page set within the Toby Dynavox Compass software. And what I'm going to do is navigate to our topics, and I'm going to go into one of the tabs. I'm sorry, in one of the topics. So I'm going to go into the About Me topic, and once this loads, you'll see that we have four current tabs at the top of this page. So for some customers, four tabs may be a little too much, and for others, it may not be enough. So what this uh, speech pathologist wanted to do was know how to hide some of these tabs so that she could not necessarily delete them, but reintroduce them when the time was more appropriate. So the first thing we need to do is go into our settings and go into our editor. Once within the editor, you need to select the tabs up top, and you'll see when you first click it, you get a red box around the entire lower portion of the screen. Now what you need to do is click again so that the tab you're interested in modifying is highlighted in lighter yellow. So maybe we want to hide the My Interest tab at this time. So with the My Interest tab highlighted in a light yellow, we click the three bars in the corner, and here we need to navigate to the Layout tab. Once we're on the Layout tab, we need to scroll to the bottom, and you'll see a checkbox where you can toggle uh, the hidden option on or off. So as you see, as we toggle that, you see the gray hash marks that come across the screen. That shows that the device, I'm sorry, not the device, the tab is hidden. So what we can do now is click out, and we've hidden that tab. So if we hit exit and hit save, you'll see that we'll go from the four tabs we initially had to just three tabs along the top. So the next step is going back into our editor and unhiding or maybe creating our own new tab. So in this particular page set, you can see we have three additional blank tabs that are already hidden for us. So in this case, we wouldn't necessarily need to add a new tab. We'd rather just have to unhide an already hidden tab and copy over the buttons that we'd like. In order to do that, it's the same process. You select the tab you would like to unhide, make sure it's highlighted in light yellow, go to the three bars, go to your layout tab, and unhide. And you'll see now that the hash marks are taken away. Now what you'll also notice right now is that all of these buttons are black or a very dark gray. And what we want is to copy and have buttons that are functional like we have on the other tabs. So the easiest way to do this is to click off of uh, where we were currently working to get rid of the red box. And now we're going to just copy or drag and select all of these buttons. We're going to go to our Edit tab at the top, and we're going to hit Copy. Now we're going to click on our tab at the top again, and you'll get the red box. So we need to click on it one more time to actually go into that tab. Now we can go up to Edit and Paste. And this may take a second, but you'll see that it pulls over all of the same uh, buttons that we copied before. Now the last step is we need to actually modify these buttons so that they're blank. So we can hit the three bars in the corner, now that everything's still selected. We can hit the keyboard option on the label. We can hit the trash can to delete. So now we have no label on any of these buttons. You can see there's no longer any words. We can now reset the message so that the message is now blank on all the buttons. Now we're going to hit select next to the symbol. When this comes up, we want to actually select the No Symbol option in the upper right-hand corner. This one will take all the symbols off of the buttons. From here, we can click off, and we can exit. And what we've just done is added a blank tab with 20 blank buttons that we can modify uh, at our choosing. Now, if you wanted to delete that tab, if you did that in error or you no longer needed it, same options apply. Go up to your settings, go to your editor, select the tab you would like. Again, we get the red box the first time we click on it. So you want to make sure you highlight the tab that you want. But now you go up to edit and remove tab. And you'll see that we've just deleted that tab. So I'm going to show you how to do that one more time. We're going to select the tab we want, 
go up to Edit and Remove tab. Now what if we did that and we didn't mean to, or we deleted too many and we wanted to put one back? So the exact same options apply. Select the general area, we're going to go up to Edit, and we're going to hit New Tab. And you'll see it just adds that tab to the end. Now what you will notice is we don't have our buttons any longer, so you are going to have to copy and paste over your buttons just like we did before. But once you're said and done, you should be able to hide, add, or delete tabs within a topic in Toby Dynavox Compass. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks, and have a great day.